Is it working? Is this actually happening? Let me test. Is it working? Is this actually happening? Wow, I'm so glad I could finally get this thing working and starting at 1.30 at night to do a live stream where I'm sure everybody's awake. Unless you're on the West Coast, it's what, 10.30 on the West? So, I don't know, maybe I'll get some late nighters. It's a Friday night, like, or Saturday morning now. Figured that's when the chat kind of all fills up. So, I figured... Somebody might be looking to sit in on a live stream and I thought maybe I could do some drawing. I had it set up last time. I tried one early in the week and I just realized the reason I wasn't getting anybody is I had it on private. I don't know. It defaults to private for some stupid reason. I don't know. I'm going to... Um, I'm gonna just do some sketching until I get like a couple of people in here and if it's if it seems to be a little interactive then hey, I'll you know um, I'll I'll stick around and I'll do something more interesting. But if there's if there's um, nobody here and if nobody's interacting, uh, I have it here so I can check and see if anybody says anything. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I was supposed to come and do this earlier. And uh, um, I had somebody, um, uh, somebody had contacted me who wanted to chat for a bit online. And um, it's a family member we had lost in the family. They wanted to chat. We talked for like an hour and a half to two hours so that was a whole time period gone then I wanted to go make some supper and I don't want to watch WandaVision I kind of want to do it before I watched WandaVision I got all like cleaned up and everything tonight for this and I'm just just been frustrating every time I go to shoot a video or do a live stream something happens it's like every time you could set your watch by it it's it's almost like every time and uh, you wouldn't believe it unless you could actually come here and spend time with me and see firsthand exactly what I'm talking about and I've had something <laughs> a long time ago and like holy shit you're right <laughs> seems like every time I go to do something um, and there's there's got to be some way I can like turn everything off shut my door and block everybody out of my life and it sounds like a horrible thing to do but when you when you want to do youtube when you want to live stream when you want to shoot a video you have to treat it like that and uh, especially if i kind of want to eventually make this um a career so to speak um and i have to specify better than that i'm not looking to be a youtuber on the youtubes because that's a really kind of bad way to look at it if you want to do that don't ever do that but I, I kind of wanted this as a way to showcase my work and to create more interest. Um, but one thing I do know is that with, with YouTube, um, you need to treat it as, uh, um, as a marketing tool. You can't use it as your single job career because they could turn around and YouTube could disappear off the face of the earth. And everyone said this for years. It could completely vanish. And um, anyone who's kind of really set their their life up around that would, would be completely lost. So and I think most people know that by now. Um, anyways, if... Uh, oh, it says I've got a couple of extra people here. That's... That's a start, I guess. But yeah, I, uh, I'm i an artist. I like to put my work up on Instagram and my Facebook. And 
I started YouTube to add to this and I'm still kind of trying to get comfortable with it. And um, uh, it's been awkward. Uh, out of all of them, it's the most awkward thing to do because it is very time consuming, especially if you want to edit videos and, and put them together. And I'm putting way too much work into it. It shouldn't take that much work. So I've just got to learn to just not make the fancy intros, not worry about all that crap. Just, just And less and less people are. People are kind of dropping their intros and they're just jumping into it. And just doing it so if there's a way I can kind of do that and be interesting and hold people's interest from the beginning so that they watch the whole thing um, then I think that's that's sort of the the trick that I have to kind of find and because um, uh, I guess the I, idea is to you need to hold people's interest right um, so as an art um, as an art channel, you're not really telling a story, so to speak. Uh, that's not the way it works. Um, but you do have to kind of give an intro. What's going to happen in this video? What are you going to cover? What are you going to talk about? And you have to kind of deliver something by the end of it. And to make people want to sit through the whole thing to see what the end result's going to be. So I think that's kind of how I have to approach it. Um, I've been doing a lot of... Um, uh, the videos so far are sort of how-tos and uh, this is really terrible uh, I don't think that there's really that much big of a market for that anymore because uh, it really is saturated like if you want to learn how to draw how to do something it's all there and I've said that from the very beginning it's all out there uh, so and people are still doing it but they're established artists doing it and people have found their favorite established artists that they like to learn from and I'm still I'm still rusty like I don't uh, I have a hard time uh, as you can see right now uh, I have a hard time speaking um, and and because uh, I'm very monotone and as much as I try to add some life in my voice I still come across extremely monotone in my videos and it bores people right away. So that's a tough part, uh, especially as somebody is my age, it's, it gets hard on the throat. When you're older, you're boring anyways. People want the young bucks and uh, it's, it's hard to be interesting uh, when you're older. You, you've got to really have, have, I need to start this again, this is terrible. Um, you really kind of need to have a really television-y, personality I think to to really deliver yourself and um, uh, especially if you've got an art channel you've got to be interesting because I don't know too many older artists there aren't really all the artists online are all young and they're all really good <laughs> they're kind of blown me away I only know a couple of them that are actually over 35 with the exception of um, Proko, um, Marshall, Marshall Van, I forget his last name, uh, but even he's connected to Proko, and so, um, he, like, he doesn't have his own thing. Yeah, so I kind of, as somebody who's now in my early 50s, I need to find a way to grasp uh, people's attention, be entertaining, and be fun, and keep people interested till the end you think as an artist oh that should be an easy thing to do just draw some fun pictures and unless you're really 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 entertaining which i know i'm not now <laughs> that's really hard to do it says at the moment i've got two people here it says um there's myself and it says i've got two other people i have no idea if there really is two people or not if, uh, if more people come in and watch and are curious and interactive, then I'll, I'll stay on. But if there isn't any, if it's just showing numbers, I don't know who, like, I don't know who the, there are, if there really are two people or not. Um, but if, um, if there's kind of no interaction, I'm going to shut it down shortly. I really did kind of want to come in here earlier when, you know, more people are online. 
I don't know. I could try again tomorrow, but it's Saturday. People are always busy on Saturday afternoons. You don't get actually a lot of people uh, on Saturdays. At least it doesn't seem to be to me. You'd think that's when everybody would be live streaming, but it seems like that's the day everybody's busy. Maybe in the evening there will be. Friday nights is always super busy for live stream. But, um... Hey, Josh, well, you're here. <laughs> At least I've got you on here, man. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> so... It says apparently there's there's one more person, but I don't I don't know if there is or not. Are you at home or are you at work? Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I don't know. Um, uh, I, I couldn't remember what your schedule was. I didn't know if you were kind of fixed sort of certain five days a week or if it kind of rotates or... I think you told me and I just don't remember. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm doing all right. I I could be better, could be worse. You know what I mean. Uh, I um. It's it's been a little bit of a shitty past couple of weeks. Um. Uh, there's a, my aunt out west passed away, and uh, um. Seems like every time I I try to sit down and do something here I get um, uh, something kind of always happens in my life uh, I, I can't explain it but it's just like every time I, I get cleaned up and I get ready to to sh either shoot or do a live stream and then boom I get a message or, or just something happens and it's been frustrating me and so but otherwise I guess I'm all right I uh, Life is kind of pretty much the same, I suppose. There's not... <laughs> Yeah, I wish I had something kind of more interesting to tell you, but... Yeah, <laughs> it's it's one of those things that you have to kind of kind of be dedicated to, I guess. If if you're gonna do it, you have to kind of set certain days of the week, look at your schedule, and go, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually do this and make something of this. Uh, if if you're gonna say, okay, I'm gonna make videos, then uh, you know, write down stuff you want to do and what you want to talk about, what you want to make videos about, and then really kind of set about to do it. Because I find, yeah, it's easy to get, because you, you start thinking about everything that starts being involved with, like, I shoot it, and then, and then I got to edit it, and post it, and is anybody going to watch it, and, yeah, it's, it's, um, I keep trying to, um, trudge through it. I only have, um, 
I only have about 95 people. I'm trying to get five more subscribers <laughs> to the damn channel. <laughs> and, uh, it's, uh, it's... It's not been easy. I might put something on my Instagram and just ask people if they could subscribe to the channel. They don't even need to really watch the videos. I just would like to get that last few so I could break a hundred. If I break a hundred I can fix the channel name. I guess um, uh, Value Village has had to start hiring again. Um, I still don't think, like, I don't think I'll go back. I don't think it's much point. Oh, do you? I thought you had more than that for some reason. I thought you were like well over a hundred. But yeah, I guess uh, Lisa's gone from Value Village, so <clears throat> Lisa's no longer. She's managing the other store, I guess, up the new one at the North End. But uh, so I don't know if that would change um, their whole thing about not hiring people back who used to work there, but. Regardless, I can't I can't really go back there. I might have to look for something else part-time for a little while, but I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, that's the one. Up in Appleby. There is a uh, about a 10 second delay, by the way. So if you hear me saying something, I've already, <laughs> already gone on about another 10 seconds. Oh, why are they hiring? I don't know if I want to work at a Tim Hortons. I think I would kill somebody in the first week. <laughs> I, I have no patience to do customer service anymore. If I was just in the back, like baking or something like that, and I didn't have to come come out and deal with the uh, deal with the public, yeah, I could probably do it. But um, as soon as I have to go up front and deal with people, no way. No way would I want to do that. Are they hiring at your store? It's not looking right. Oh, there really is a delay. I can hear myself here. Oh yeah. 
I guess that's Tim's. I guess it's just they all have like a constant turnover rate. Although, I sort of wish I could invest in one. I would, um... Uh, I would, I would buy one as a franchise. I don't, I can't, I don't have the money to do that now, but, but, um... It's a lot of money in them. You, you never hear of a, of a Tim Hortons that really actually had to go out of business because of lack of business. terrible job of inking this I'm just sort of screwing around here this isn't anything particularly serious Apparently, though, um, for Value Village, um, if you want to keep working there, I think there's something about them making it mandatory that you have to get the vaccine. Uh, if you don't get the COVID vaccine, apparently you can't you can't stay working there, and it's created a little bit of a fuss. I don't know all the details about that. That's sort of secondhand. Um, in third hand even but but um, yeah apparently that's I could almost see them doing that at Tim Hortons. Yeah, I don't like the teeth. They might redo the teeth. Still only have three people. I don't know who the mystery other person is. I know one of them on there is um, is just my own here, so I can see what the frame looks like. But uh, apparently there's one other person. I don't know if it's sort of a glitch on this thing or what it is, but... 
Kind of wish I could get more people on this. Particularly like this or not, but it'll do. Should be careful on my live stream. I said the C word. I'm not supposed to talk about that, I guess, or they could shut you down. I want to redo the teeth on this guy. I don't like the teeth. I screwed up about part way through. Wasn't thinking. Hmm. Oh, you missed what I was talking about a couple of minutes ago. <laughs> COVID. You're not supposed to talk about that. Apparently, if I mean, I just sort of mention it briefly, but I guess if it starts to become a conversation, um, YouTube's little algorithm thingamabobbers will will come around and they'll they can stop the stream. Or if you post a video about it, because people are obviously talking about it in videos, but apparently. Um, Uh, uh, apparently they can either demonetize the video or just remove it altogether. Yeah, you and me both. I'm, I didn't, don't need all this shit. <laughs> There's, yeah, we got a lot. I can't handle it very good. My back does not like this, this weather. This is fading. Oh, geez. What the hell? What am I doing? And then we got more coming, though. It's not stopping.
just indications like this. Looks a little better than what I had. I guess you guys got as much as we did up there in Hamilton, eh? I'm presuming you did. Yeah, I was really hoping for a little more interest in here, but yeah, what are you going to do? Uh, yeah, I, I used to hate getting stuck at work when, when that kind of weather hit. I remember working at a jumbo video in around the uh, very late 90s, like 98, 99, and uh, we got hit with this huge snowstorm. And uh, now this is before, really before everybody had the internet, but everybody would still watch the news. You knew the weather. We all had the weather network, and everybody watched it, and you listened to the radio. So everybody knew this huge snowstorm was coming. So I go to my shift at jumbo video, and we could see the snow start coming down. There's a few people in the store, but not many. It's it's average. And uh, then this gets really bad. It starts turning into a snowstorm. We're even debating whether to keep the store open. Well, it's a video store. Everybody and their mother start showing up after the storm starts hitting. Like it was it, it was turning into a blizzard. So everybody sitting at home thought. Oh, wow, there's a blizzard coming. We should get some movies in case we're stuck in. So they wait till after it starts and they come out into the blizzard and the store got packed, packed with people. We could barely handle it all. Meanwhile, it's blasting outside. Just It's like whiteouts. And, and uh, I couldn't believe that people decided to wait till this thing hit to come and rent their video because they knew they were going to be stuck in for a couple of days. And uh, I couldn't believe that. So a couple of days later, we're, we're buried in mountains of snow. And then uh, now people don't want to return the video. They, they, they bring their videos back late and they're like, you know, oh, you know, can you kind of waive the late charge? We kind of got snowed in. We couldn't, we couldn't drive in it. I thought, you came through this bloody stuff to get your movies and now you don't want to return it, you lazy bugger. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I want to quit so bad. <laughs> I get so frustrated with people. Some people, some people really like the snow. The idea of driving through it is like this challenge for them. It's like they have to defy nature and they have to get into their vehicle. And, uh, and drive through the madness. Because, um, 
it was kind of a joy ride for them. I don't get it. <laughs> I really don't. People be crazy. This is terrible. You can tell I haven't, I'm really out of practice. duplicate this merge lock duplicate layer Call this the color layer. This will be ink. Not one to work with a super amount of layers. I know people really like to super layer things, but sometimes I'm just goofing around with something like this. I don't. I start getting too confused when I start messing around with too many layers. And I'm going to lock the ink layer. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Um, can't draw anywhere like I used to years ago. Um, I really did used to be actually a much better artist back when I used to work, um, actually work in animation. And uh, I stupidly kind of stopped. I, I listened to the wrong people and I, I stopped drawing. Let's see, I'm going to um, fill you in. I'm going to. Uh, Clean this up a little bit. So Josh, you got any plans for the weekend at all, or just, uh, you know, it's shitty weather, not like we can really have any kind of plans. That's too light.
<laughs> well, yes, sir. <laughs> It's, um, sorry if I come across that way. It's not so much to put myself down, but, um, uh, there does have to be kind of a realization. I understand, of course, I can draw better than most people. If I was to try and get into a studio again, I, I couldn't get into one. The, the demand in studios is so high. Uh, I went through a phase where when I was, when I graduated from animation, I was kind of, uh, my art was struggling a little bit um, because I was under a lot of pressure to finish the program and do as well as I could. Once I got out and I started working in studios, you're actually doing something where you're contributing something to a production. And it just felt like my drawing capabilities uh, just suddenly clicked and I was... Uh, I was banging stuff out and I was it was the best my art has ever been. Uh, but where I blame myself was listening to the wrong people. And because I wasn't stable in a studio long enough, you're in and out quite a bit. And I was doing tests. The people I was living with, a particular person was getting worried that I wasn't going to be able to pay my rent. And he started pushing me to just take any old job. And he says, you know, well, there's no shame in it. And, you know, well, you tried animation and you failed. And I'm like, failed. I'm just kind of in and out of the studio. And then he come home one day and he hands this application to me, puts it right in my face and he says, here, Harvey's is hiring, fill this out and go take that job. Well, I made the mistake of listening to him and I went and did it. And when you start, um, uh, when you start doing something like that, it's very, um, jobs like that can be very soul sucking. Because I didn't like it. And I get home exhausted and kind of burnt and frustrated with people. And you don't feel like drawing. And so I stopped. And, and eventually I moved out. I left and I started drawing again, which was good. That's when I started getting into caricatures. And that became kind of a thing, which is really good. I needed to do that. And uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, but then when I, I moved again, I ended up working for Loblaws. And it was the same thing all over again. Uh, and it, and then when I left Loblaws, I went and did security and that was a huge mistake. I never should have done security. And that's where it kind of killed me because security, um, it's a thankless job for one. It was full time, weird hours I was going back and forth from nights to days to overnights to days. And it wrecked my system. I've never been able to get a proper night's sleep since that job. And, uh, I, uh, I, tell people never get into security unless that's sort of your lifelong dream it's uh it'll it'll wreck you physically uh it's it's the the hours are ridiculous so unless you're actually prepared to do that uh i i tell people never it, it's it's an awful awful job and uh i that i do regret taking that job i should have never done that but um why is this not, not a lot of strength to this hair? Hmm. Huh. Yeah, if you have to do a job like that for a while to make money, um, take it and just put that money away until you can really start, you know, pursuing your, your dream, what you really, really, really want to do. Because uh, I think that's important. Because if you, if eventually you don't, if you don't do that, uh, you, it will catch up with you. It plays a lot of horrible mental games with you that you really only kind of start seeing in hindsight. And uh, I, oh, I was going to fill in those eyes. I mean, there's sort of this this stigma about, and it really it really annoys the hell out of me, that you know that it's it's good to build character, etc. I guess I understand where that sentiment comes from, you know, but the reality is, if you you know, I went to college to learn something, and it wasn't to 
I didn't go to college to to so that I wouldn't ever have to take one of these terrible, horrible, demeaning jobs. No, I went to college because I wanted to do something fun with my life. I wanted to do something I enjoyed doing and dedicate my time and life to doing what I liked. I don't certainly look down on anyone who does jobs like that. They're not, they shouldn't be degrading and demeaning jobs. Um, but uh, you know, they're, they're meant to be fillers. They really are. And I, I, I do, in a way, feel bad for people who that's, you know, when they get older and that's kind of their last resort. So I felt bad for some of the people who worked at Value Village, these ladies who, who own homes and they're trying to, to you know, still pay for mortgages and they're in their 60s working there. And I'm thinking, you know, wasn't there something more meaningful in your life that you could you could do? I, I, I don't know how to put it without sounding terrible. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I, so whoops, why is that? Oh, that's why. Ugh. But no, but that's why I say I, I've uh, I've never been able to to draw as well as I could back when I got out of college because I was I was really doing something with it back then, and uh, I'd like to <clears throat> get back to that place again. It's um, it's you kind of have to rededicate yourself to your craft and really uh, really work on it. Um, I wouldn't be doing this if I if I didn't love it as much as I did and if I didn't want it again as much as I do. So, um, uh, so it's it's not meant in that in that respect. <laughs> oh, this is kind of cool. This is a synthetic paint. Oh, I actually really like this. It blurs the ink lines underneath, though. I don't like that. Oh. I don't like that yellow. No, oh, it's two thirty. Whoops, shit. It's two thirty. It might be. I don't know. I may end up calling it quits pretty soon. keeps dragging the ink layer underneath. Don't do that. I like the texturing on the nose, how that turned out. <laughs> Maybe I'll do this as kind of a, <clears throat> I'm going to do this as like a darker underlayer. And I'll go over it with something lighter. Yeah, that's what I could do. I need to find a better, a uh, better brush. It doesn't smear the black. No, I don't like you. Josh, do you watch, um, I don't know if you have, if you watch much TV or if you have Disney Plus, um, do you watch uh, WandaVision? <clears throat> WandaVision at all, or? I watch the new episode tonight.
Oh, only three episodes. Aha, interesting. I uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to keep up with it. Um, it yeah if if you if you can don't don't give up on it um it gets more and more interesting it goes along <laughs> i wish i could just select this and fill it but i can't because of the bottom if i do something like this. Will it fill the whole thing? Probably will. No, interesting. It does not. Alrighty then. I'm doing this the hard way. What about if I do it like this? Alright. Good to know. That's easier. Now I can just go in and touch up some loose areas and I can go in with some texturing. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'm really kind of trying to limit what television I watch. I'm not even sure if I'll, uh, I'll watch, as much as I kind of like to see it, I don't know if I'll, I'll watch uh, Winter Soldier when it starts. I do want to see it eventually, I just don't think I'll watch it right away. I have so much to do in the next little while, and uh, I feel like I don't want any distractions, because <laughs> I have enough already. Um, but if I do, I know I'll end up hearing a lot of friggin' spoilers if I don't. Well, there's a bunch of stuff I'd like to see, and, uh, whoops, wrong layer. Why? What's wrong? Oh, I locked the wrong layer. Falcon, oh, what did I say? <laughs> you out. I know, I'm old. <laughs> Falcon and Winter Soldier. Yeah, that's yeah, that's the one. Uh, I do want to watch it. Um, I just don't know if I'll have the time right away. I watched... Um, uh, oh, and Star is going to be introduced on Disney+. Plus. If you have Disney+, Plus, they, on the 23rd, they're going to introduce Star. You'll have to go in and... and um, uh, adjust your uh, age level like it's only 18 and up and you have to adjust something in that on on the uh, on Disney plus it'll it'll kick in but um, when you do that there's gonna be a whole shitload of new content they're adding to it and it's all all stuff that's over PG-13 Turn this invisible for a minute. No, I can't. I really actually screwed that up. Oh, son of a bitch. I should have cleaned that up before.
Gonna be much more carried away with this than I intended to. <laughs> Since you got a couple of days off, maybe you should uh, try and work on your YouTube. <laughs> maybe we both get it. Whoops! If we can both get it going, well, yeah, I can I can have you come over sometime, and you can. Um, I'll have you on as a guest spot and vice versa. Do the same for me. <laughs> Yeah, we'll definitely do that. Once this um this crazy COVID thing starts Oops, that's way too much. Side of this brush. Right. Well, then maybe uh, you know in the summer that would be nice. We could go out and do do something in the summer. You could uh, photograph something and then I'll paint it. <laughs> yeah, I can't do shit outside right now.
It's like my friend, my good friend Steve, he wants to start shooting again. He really misses taking pictures and he can't uh, can't really do anything right now, unfortunately. No, that's no good. Oh, that's terrible. Ugh. Can't find the right kind of brush I want for this. What is wrong with this? Why am I not getting anything out of this? This is not, the felt tip is not working. Why is my felt tip marker not working? What the copa? Copa probably doesn't need it. No. Something about that, it doesn't want to go over top. Why? Why are you doing this to me? I should kind of be calling it a night soon. I really, uh,
up oh, way too late. <laughs> I really like the texturing on the nose. I like that's how it turned out. Part I like. Um, Need to figure out how to stream Procreate. That I would love to be able to do. Oh, it does both of them. All right. There we go. I love these grading tools. They're so much fun. It's such a cheat job, but I like it. screen I'm actually um, if you can see this I'm working on a tablet here and uh, I'm really actually thinking of selling this tablet this particular one and getting one of the newer models um, when I got this I, I've been pretty happy with it it's got a couple little drawbacks um, there's a bit of, what is it, parallaxing? I forget what it's called. Um, there's quite a bit of distance between the, the pen nib and uh, through the glass where it's showing up on the image. The newer models now have narrowed that, so it looks more like it's actually drawing right under the tip of the nib. Where in this case, there's a bit of distance, and you have to kind of follow a little X on the screen, which isn't so bad. I tend to draw on a little bit of an angle like this, so that's fine. I can, I can live with that. The one thing it doesn't support is something called tilt, and um, the iPads have tilt. This, considering it's a it's a bigger model, I I was disappointed it didn't, and it's something it really should have. Uh, but they didn't they didn't incorporate it in at the time. This is about two and a half, three years old now. Um, but it's basically um, if you were to take a pencil, and you know when you lean it on its side. On a, with, with a pencil, you've got a long bit of lead, and you start shading something with the side of the lead of your pencil, it makes like a wider area, right? You And you can do that with, with sticks of uh, Conte or charcoal. As soon as you lay it on, lean it over, it's covering more area, and you're, you're shading like this, as opposed to like right with a point like this. And um, tilt is a feature that's built in now that you can do it with the pen it registers that you're leaning the pen over more and it'll create the effect on the uh, on the tablet that you're leaning that over the iPad uh, has that with with procreate and you can do that with your Apple pencil it looks beautiful it looks really authentic on an iPad it's fantastic and I love it 
but um yeah the, um I'm kind of uh, a little disappointed that wasn't incorporated at the time they made these because they could have. They had it. And I think they chose not to either to save money or what. I don't know. But uh, they didn't uh, They didn't do it. And I'm kind of... Uh, I've always been kind of a little disappointed. I, I should have maybe either waited or flipped the extra money for the larger model. Uh, would have been a lot more money, actually, to, to have that incorporated in, because the bigger model had it. Um, but it has it now, so I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe sometime later in the year, I might, uh, I might maybe actually, uh, I might sell this. I might sell it, and, um, Yeah, I might look into one of the newer models. I'd still like to to get a, a decent buck for this. Like I I paid six fifty for it, and I'd like to still get um. I'd still like to get at least five hundred. It's a good machine, even though it lacks tilt, and I know that would be disappointing for some people. And maybe the uh, um, the distance on the screen might be kind of a little annoying. You you do have to keep resetting it to line up the uh what do you call it where where the pen touches the screen you have to keep fixing that a little bit which isn't so bad i don't i uh i don't mind uh but i know for some people that's frustrating i don't know how this looks Hmm. I don't know if I like that. Yeah, I don't like it. What else we got here? Mm, I don't like that if you can't change the direction too long. How's my subscribers? Um, oops. Shit. Uh, very, um, still very inactive. Uh, I'm sitting at about 95. And uh, I... I'd like to, uh, as I said, I'd like to get that over to 100. But even more so, I'd like them to, uh, I don't like that either. I just kind of like them to be a little more interactive. I'd like to see more people watching my stuff. And, um, uh, so right now I'm not getting, uh, I'm not getting the duration, the view duration. Like people are, are checking it out at the beginning, but they're not. Um, they're not watching. Uh, they're not watching the video. So that's something I'd like to. Uh, I'd like to work on. I need to get. Uh, what's what's the term for that? The viewer engagement. Um, oh, that's cool at the bottom.
I can't get the right texture for his face right now. These fur ones, I thought they'd be a little bit better than what they are, and I don't like them. instead I think I might be calling it quits pretty soon this is actually pretty late for me I didn't really want to stay up this late uh, but Should be at 98. Why do you say that? Is is did some couple of people just add on? Because um, I know you subscribed already a little while ago. Um, I had a couple of new people just subscribe, and it brought me to 95. Actually, brought me to about 96, and then one person left. So. That kind of sucked. <laughs> Why is this put? She wouldn't do that. pushing the black underneath and I wish it would stop doing that. That's messing it up. Don't like that. Hmm. Let's see if I can fix this a bit. Yeah, all right, give me a second. I'll go have a look. Uh, it says, I keep getting this error message saying that my, uh, it says, uh, please use a keyframe frequency of four seconds or less. Currently the keyframes are not being sent often enough, which can cause buffering. So am I, um, is it very jittery right now? Or what's, uh, what's the scoop on that? No, oh, no, it says 98. I, I didn't see any subscriber notices. It wasn't 95. So somehow I got I got three more in there, and I don't <laughs> I don't know where or how, but somehow I got them. <laughs> but thanks for letting me know. That's literally within the last like couple of hours. Um, but that's good though. Um, I have to check here in the YouTube Studio to see. Uh, my watch time is still only 410 minutes. Um, so somehow I have to get that up to 4,000 hours in less than a year. <laughs> so, uh, subscriber change. 
Why don't, is that just counting the current views? Please tell me that's not just because I have a couple of viewers. Oh, what are you sending me? Oh yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like I said, that's just in the last, um, That's just in the last couple of hours. Uh, normally I get a notification when it says, you know, like, oh, there's an update, but I didn't, or, there's, or you've got, you know, two new viewer, two new subscribers. I usually get something that says that, but no, there wasn't anything this time. I got somebody else messaging me here on Instagram. I should go let them know that I'm going to bed. seeing ads for 21 draw for this book and i've seen 21 draw i don't like it <laughs> i actually don't think it's a very good book i think there's better ones out there and jazza draw with jazza was one of the contributors to that and uh i don't uh What's that? Hold on. Oh, all right. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, it's very kind of you. I'm going to tell them I appreciate it. They don't have to come and watch everything I do, but they uh, I appreciate their subscriptions. It helps bumps me up to uh, closer to 100. So once I can get a couple more and I can get the name changed... Maybe after that too, it'll it'll just right. Like uh, I might hopefully reach a point where where people start watching, so um, you know I can get more people interested. But yeah, I uh, I appreciate it though. Thank you. <laughs> Let me just message this poor fellow. I got a friend of mine who's. Yeah, Jazz, I still call him Draw with Jazz because that's what he's used to for years. I don't know. I, I used to like his channel and I'm... Uh, I don't like him as much anymore. <laughs> uh, I have certain issues with how he goes about what he's doing. Let me just get a hold of my buddy here. Uh, really?
Do you watch his stuff? If, I, I didn't know you uh, you would really be familiar with him. Oh, you pick now. See, people, I got friends like from different parts of the world. I got friends on the in the UK and that, and uh, um, they start messaging me when they see me online, and uh, I'm like, "No, it's late. I'm doing a live stream. I'm going to bed shortly. Why are you asking me to talk now? I can't do this." Oh my god, people are useless. I can't find your YouTube channel. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh god. All right, here I got to give him my URL. You your you URL. God, I can't even talk. I'm up so late. Proper blender.
I, I, um, in regards to Jazza, I actually used to really like him a lot. Uh, but when he changed, when he went through this whole process of changing his username and he said he got tired of doing what he was doing and I thought, oh, you're going to turn into, I don't know. He used to actually give a lot of useful information and now it's just kind of become this, this show. And I kind of get that, I guess, because I mean, that's, I guess you got to do what, you got to do, but, but, uh, I didn't like, I don't know. I didn't like it after that. When he did that, I, I was kind of almost kind of a little perturbed. I, I thought this is just all, um, it's like this guy, um, this, this fellow named ZHC and, uh, um, I, I felt like, I don't want to say he kind of sold out, but I guess he I felt like he kind of did. ZHC, he's a decent artist. He's a good artist, young fella, but his whole show is, oh, here, watch me draw with a thousand markers. Here I am with lots of money, and I'm going to throw it around and color on it. I'm like, really? And then uh, Jazza kind of started doing similar stuff, and I thought, this this is silly. This is useless now. This isn't... I've noticed that Jazza started changing it up again and he started doing a little more like art challenges and things like that that normal people can do you know he was like look I bought this this ten thousand dollar printer and we can make this stuff I'm like what's this we shit you can make this we can't because you can afford it because his family was bloody rich so but I um Anyways, those hair textures again. Add some fur brush. There we go.
got too much things going on here. I think I should call it quits. Okay, I think uh, I'm going to call it here. Let's save this. Desktop. And I'm going to twit. All right, Josh, I am going to call it a night, man. I'm shutting her down here. So, and my friend from the UK here is driving me a bit nuts. I think he wants to chat for a couple of minutes and then I got to go to bed. So, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, thanks for stopping in and chatting. It's always good to talk to you. Um, I'll, um, uh, let me close that. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for sending the picture. <laughs> I could send you some of me. Some old stuff is pretty bizarre. All right, man. You um, you take care, and uh, I'll uh, we'll talk again soon. If if you need to talk anymore, you want to chat, you can always private message me. I'm gonna shut this chat down though, so we will talk soon. All right. And I wish you knew the other person was on here. <laughs> so weird. All right, man. Have a good night. We will talk to you soon.